fellow humans, Master Dinner Flex here, bringing you low quality content you deserve. And today, I just want to say, I hope I got you guys with that last video. Um, I just wanted to do a bit of trolling. We're doing a bit of trolling. Um, I just, the reason I did that is because I don't really care for like all these ban list predictions about what should be hit, what shouldn't be hit. Because a lot of the times when they're doing it, they're only taking into consideration current format cards for current issues. And if they hit them, they're no longer an issue. The So a lot of the times, like, your opinions of these cards is going to change with new support over time and power creeping. And that's just, like, fine. That's a part of Yu-Gi-Oh! And, like, if there is a problem card, just they'll need to hit it. The thing is, a lot of the times these lists don't actually address some of the worst issues um, the game has. Uh, so, the reason I just don't care for, like, these ban list predictions and why I've never really care to do one, I guess, is because they they don't address these cards. Um, I have coined the term, like, within, like, ten minutes ago. I call these cards the Ignorant Eight. Um, now you might be asking, why is that? Um, all eight of these cards only promote toxic ignorant interactions. These cards serve the only function of doing something degenerate. They don't do anything else. Um, long, long time ago in Yu-Gi-Oh, it was fine to have degenerate cards because we had so many powerful, powerful, just one card cards that did like Harpy's Feather Duster, Heavy Storm, Giant True Nade, like they didn't really matter. But we're getting to a point where even when we're starting to get Harpy's Feather Duster, we got Twin Twister. These cards are just some of the dumbest, just garbage that we not only have a, are just okay with existing, but you don't even register in your mind that all of these cards should be banned. Every single one of them. Um, and I will... See, here's the thing. Um... These six cards, everyone wants banned. Fissure, Macro, Skill Drain, Imperial Order, Mystic Mind, Tikapu. Like, no one would give a second thought because these are floodgates. You activate these and sometimes you just have to go to the next game. But no one ever wants to mention that these two cards are the exact same, just in proactive form. If you get red rebooted, it means you lost the duel. If you get called by the Graved and you can't stop their combo, you've lost the duel. Um, both of the, all of these cards, um, the reason I call them ignorant more than anything is while these cards exist, you can play these cards and drawing these cards means all the interaction and all the critical thinking you would have to do about how your opponent's playing, what they're playing, what they might do to your board, what they might do to your hand, what, how you want to interact with the graveyard. All of that just flies out the fucking window. Um, you don't have to think. You can activate Skill Drain and now Big Monster. You can activate uh, Macro and now like 80% of all Yu-Gi-Oh that decks that have existed just don't function anymore. And the few that do, you'll just play other traps. Um, same with D-Fissure. Imperial Order, man, I'll, I guess I'll just turn off a third of the entire card pool while at the same time, like... Preventing, prevent it from being outed um, with its own effect. So that's cool. This is really stupid. I don't know why they ever printed this. Like, you, you've made the game so archetype focused, so why did you print a card that punishes people for playing archetypes that you promote? Um, Mystic Mine, I've already explained this before. Um, Red Reboot. Oh man, I love when my Dark Ruler No More can still let me do battle damage and. No monster effects anywhere can activate. Um, that's really cool. And then, yeah, I guess I'll just let uh, my combo player... I guess, like, the combo players can just go off when they draw this. That's fine. It's... It's garbage. Like, why have we gotten to the point 
where these one card mega saki interactions can exist in the game and you don't even question that they're legal um this is something i brought up in the last video despite it for the most part being a joke players when they see something degenerate for some reason their their thought process isn't ban it their thought process is limit it the problem with that is you don't m get rid of the interaction you just make it less common and far far sackier um it is no longer about a deck building against it it is now like your opponent had it and that game was just stolen from you and there's nothing you can do um and all these cards are perpetrators of this and there are even cards not even in this ignorant eight slot like cross out whenever we get that card summon limit they fit similar roles but what these eight do they're so much better than every other card at doing this and the thing that's most important about like um these cards is none of them are monsters you can't you can't like all your monster removal and all and like just attacking over it isn't a possibility you need an entire you need a secondary you need back row removal for all of these or i guess these just you have to draw judgment so that's cool um so all these cards are just insanely insanely toxic i if there's anything i want to you guys to take away from this video and maybe the last video if you want to all these ban list predictions all these like whatever it it's cool to want certain cards banned because sometimes most of the times they are problems especially if they're newer but keep in mind if you want degenerates interactions out of the game you just need to say it like why why do we have to ever worry about these eight cards why why are these just like never brought up into discussion um and especially even when they're brought up into the discussion they're they they only include like these six and never these eight called by the grave and red reboot are some of the most toxic ca cards ever designed um they really just belong in the category for the exact opposite reason like but all these cards just need to be straight up banned which is funny for order because it got eroded and still need to ban. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoy this video. Um, hopefully you kind of get my insight on why I don't take, like, ban list predictions very seriously. Because a lot of times people just want the face of the problems gone and not the underlying issues of certain things happening gone. Like, like if you ban... I'll, it, it, I can't even go into it. I feel like I've explained so much at this point that if you don't get it, you're it, it, it's just not going to reach you. So, yep, that's about it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And remember, Master Dinnerflax will take your soul.